My name is Monique Verdea and I am a documentary photographer and filmmaker. I've been working on a project called My Louisiana Love, which tells this environmental cycle of injustice from a Native American perspective through a personal narrative that's about my life and my family, um, specifically my grandmother. In the early 1900s, the land was um, essentially stolen from the natives living in the coastal communities of Terrebonne, Lafourche Parish. And um, you know, then the oil and gas companies came in, the federal government came in, they, they put their pipelines in, dug the canals. Fast forward into the 90s and they're dumping oil fill waste near a community of Grand Bois, which is Native American primarily. The community was getting sick. It was having very violent reactions. Um, you know, a number of different women had to have hysterectomies for the same kinds of issues. You know, people were having nosebleeds and re respiratory problems. And that kind of inspired me to pick up a camera. Then we have Katrina and then, you know, the grand finale is the BP drilling disaster, but the reality is, is that that's probably not the finale. I mean, the injustice continues. As a young woman, I think that it was just overwhelming to, to see a culture so threatened, um, but also so alive. It's still there, um, but it's changed so much just in the last 13 years of, of me photographing and, and seeing people change and seeing as the old people die, you know, and, and the old ways are going with them. I hope that the film is a testament um, to the people of South Louisiana and specifically, um, you know, I think of myself as a, a recorder. You know, that's my job. Like, I don't have an agenda. I don't know what the answer is. But I think that it's important for us to have a record to be able to reference and to be able to understand how we got here. And for the Homa, their history is untold. And um, by using my life and using my grandmother's life and the story of the Homa people who, you know, were some of the first natives in the Mississippi Delta who are recorded in the journals of the Jesuit priest, um, you know, to, to have their voice be heard on whatever small scale the film ends up reaching or large or what have you, but to have it there for my younger cousins to be able to look at and to say, oh, okay, this is where we come from. This is who we are. This is how we got here. You know, this is what our people have been through. That's a really important thing for me.